Thank you very much. Well? Uh, well, Mr. Coe says that, uh, <laughs> he will get us a new bed as soon as he possibly can. Good. Yeah, he also mentioned that the hotel is full up, so it may take a little while. How long's a little while? I'm sorry. I know this isn't the way this is supposed to be working. I'm sorry. Yeah, you just had to pick our honeymoon to start your career as an arsonist. Well, I had no idea that those candles would generate so much heat. Maybe they didn't. Maybe you and I, we started the sprinkler system off all by ourselves. No, oh, don't blame this on me. This is your fault. It's because you can't wait. You can't wait to start knitting those little baby booties. It makes you a very dangerous woman. Cruz, wouldn't it be wonderful if we got back from our honeymoon? I went to the doctor and he told no, me... No, no, don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. That'll jinx it. Don't talk about that. Either. It's just that when Kelly started talking about being pregnant, it made me think it was all possible. And now that we're married and everything, I don't know, I guess I'm a little irrational about this issue. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know I can't wait either. I'm sorry. It would make it a little easier if we had a bed. Well, they're working on it. Mr. Cole called it his top priority. I got an idea. Why don't we go out and grab some lunch, and then when we come back here, hopefully this room will be all set up again with uh, our new bed, and we can take our afternoon nap. Nap? Yeah, well, you know, you got to allow me the occasional euphemism, right? I don't know. Was that in our vows? Uh, if it wasn't, it should have been. <laughs> 